let's stress test the Yeti 1000 with a 1500 watt heater. So let's start by turning it at low. That's the 750 watt setting and see what happens. Everything seems fine. Let's crank it up now to high. And again, the Yeti's handling it just fine. So this is the basically high end of what it can handle continuously with its inverter. So I thought I'd make it more interesting and do two heaters. So I'll start with one on low. And again, it's about 750 watts. You can turn the next one on. You can see the power goes up. No problem there. Then we can make it more interesting by cranking one of them on high. So now we've got two, one on low and one on high. And surprisingly, it's handling it okay. We're way over 2000 watts now. So we'll take it to the next level and we will try two on high. That's over 3000 watts. And it doesn't like that. Just a quick press of the AC button to reset it. And the Yeti is back in business. No worse for the wear. So we know it really can't handle more than a couple fractions of second above 3000 watts, which is still really impressive. So I thought I'd go back and test this with one on high and one on low. So you can see now where they're both on low and I'm gonna take it up to the next level where one is on high. So now here we go. We're running 2200 watts. So you'll remember the continuous watts on this is only supposed to be 1500 and we're way over that. We're at 2200 watts and this thing is still going. I thought this would only be able to handle a surge like this for a few seconds, but you know, we're already at 15 seconds here and it is going strong. So let's see how long it'll last at 2200 watts. Well, it looks like we made it about 24 seconds there before it died. Now, the interesting thing here is when it quit out, it really quit. So it just completely conked out. Pressing the buttons, doing my magic three button press didn't help. I was a little bit worried that I had fried it, but went back and plugged it into the wall and you can see it came right back to life. So I think it's no worse for the wear here. And, you know, I think overall Goal Zero does a really good job with these devices. Uh, the inverter here is super beefy and can handle big surges. I'm impressed.